generous donation has initiated the first steps in bringing an authentic Korean language village site to the Concordia Language Villages in Bemidji. Asherel Moore tells us the vision for the new spot. Today, villagers at the Concordia Language Village not only celebrated the annual International Day, the evening was made extra special by a gift that will significantly impact their Korean language villages. Today we are celebrating the 20th anniversary summer of Supsoge Hosu, the Korean language village. And in honor of that occasion, we've had a very significant gift of $5 million from Kenny and Simone Park of Seoul, Korea and the Simone Corporation. Simone Corporations makes luxury handbags for famous brands like Michael Kors, Marc Jacobs and Coach. Park learned about Concordia when the Korean village's founding dean did an interview in Seoul. Park loved the idea of sharing Korean culture with the world. The villagers, they are so energetic and passionate to learn something to other countries, the culture and people and languages. Right now at the Concordia Language Village, there are currently seven culturally authentic sites. The Korean one will be the eighth village. If you follow me around this corner, you can see the current Korean village. Now, even though this will be the eighth site, it will be the first to represent an Asian country. This property was always envisioned to encompass the world, and by adding Korean, we are in fact living out that original dream. The new language village will be built by Turtle River. Two architectural teams have already been hired, one from Minnesota and one from Seoul. They'll collaborate, then hopefully break ground next spring. Concordia then hopes to host their first sessions on the new site in the summer of 2020. I hope, I mean, this will motivate to other the donators to having a, the, to bring the, this Korean language village to next chapter. Reporting of Bemidji, Shrell Moore, Lakeland News. So far, the donation is the largest single gift donation ever given to Concordia. If you enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland PBS.